wooden bows. The wooden bow crossbows were very easy to operate. They were very easy to learn how to use, and the Spanish really liked the way they worked. Unfortunately, the wooden bows made them not very powerful. The Spanish had quite the solution to that, and that was the steel bow. What that did is it significantly increased the force. This weapon has a bow force of approximately 280 pounds. It has a range of about 300 yards and a muzzle velocity of approximately 400 feet per second. That's pretty good considering the weapon's technology of the day. Now, my goal is to get the, uh, the bow string, which could be made out of animal hides, animal guts, or horse hair, this one happens to be horse hair, into the nut. Now the nut is this hooked piece of metal right there that would normally lock. There we go. Hooked piece of metal right there, locked in position. There to there. That is quite a distance to drag 280 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm not that strong. I can't do that. So the Spanish designed this little number. This right here is the solution to all my problems. This is known as the windlass, also known as a block and tackle due to its system of ropes and pulleys. Now, you'll notice that there's a hollowed out end right there. And you'll notice that we have books right there. We're not pirates, but they do have a serve. There we go. The hollowed out end goes right over the handle like that, and the hooked end goes right over the rope. Just like that. Now, it is simple as just crank away. Now, I am a full soldier. What that basically means in this situation is that I would not be doing this part. My apprentice, or my pahe, would actually be doing this part for me. Now my apprentice is not quite as old as I am. My apprentice is going to be in the area of approximately 8 to 10 years old. Now ah, there's one little issue with uh, 8 to 10 year olds. It's a little bit of a problem on a battlefield. Well, actually two issues. One, they're not quite as strong as I am. And as you saw in my demonstration of me pulling the bowstring up, I am quite a strong individual. Now, the other problem is they're not quite that tall. Two major issues. Now, I'll start off with that whole strength thing. There's quite a bit of force on these handles. They require, you know, constant attention, constant holding onto the 